Hello in this video, this is a second part of my hidden feature series of iOS 5. Uh, so let's start with Calendar. When you open up Calendar, it now has the ability to go into landscape mode. So when you go into landscape mode, you can see all the events for the week and every time there's a new week, you, there's a break. So you keep on going and there's a new week. so. It, it uh, splits it. Also when adding event in calendar you have more options such as adding a URL for the event. Also you have invitees which uh, you type in an email address of somebody and it basically sends them an email where they could click accept, decline, or maybe and after they click that when you go back to your event it now says who's coming to the event, who is not coming, and who might be coming. Also, when they get the email for the invite, they could also add that event from their calendar straight from the email. The next one isn't really a hidden feature, but I'd like to share it with you guys. When you go to any application, in this instance I'm going to notes, and you type in a word and you select the word, you have an option here to go to the next uh, menu. After you click that, you have define, which opens up a dictionary within that application where you could see what that word means. Next feature I'm going to show you is when you open up the camera application and without even having to go to the camera roll in the bottom left you simply swipe your device and you see all the previous taken photos and also when you go back to the camera you no longer have to click uh, the, the picture and click done you could just swipe back right to your camera. The next one also isn't really a hidden feature is if you go to settings and you go to notifications you can scroll down to where you see a uh, weather widget and stocks widget and you could uh, prefer to show it in the notification center or turn it off. As you can see here, I turn the stock, weather, stock widget off so I only see the weather stock. So I only see the weather uh, widget where you could simply click and go to the weather application. Also a very small uh, hidden change to iOS 5 is if your phone is in silent mode and right when you switch it back into loud mode you see what the volume is set at. For example if my volume is set all the way low and after I'm from silent mode I want to hear my phone but I don't know if it's set all the way down. Right when I switch my phone to loud it shows me that the volume is still low so I could go ahead and turn my volume back up. Next hidden feature is when you go to settings and you go to uh, the notes pane. You can set where you want it to be saved. I set it to iCloud but you could also save it on your phone. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video is when you go to contacts and you edit the information of somebody you can tap the add field and now it has more things to add such as a Twitter account the Facebook profile which the profile name is a when you go to their Facebook profile on a website it's the part after the facebook.com slash that's what you would add to profile and you could also add their related people so for example John's mother's name could be Alex you can type in Alex and you know the mother's name every time you go to the contact and there's a, bo a bunch of more uh, options to choose from. Thank you for watching my video and subscribe for more videos related to iOS 5. Uh, if you have any more hidden features or you just want to talk with me just leave a comment below and that would really help me out. I appreciate you for watching this video.